Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Sydney Primary School raises eyebrows after forcing students to take part in bizarre acknowledgement of Country Act at Assembly. A Sydney Primary School has raised eyebrows after forcing students to chant Always Was, Always Will Be Aboriginal Land at the start of every Assembly. The school instructs children to place their hands on the ground while they repeat the words as part of an acknowledgement of country. One mum from the Lower Blue Mountains region, who did not want to name the school, said a lot of people would not know what was going on. The children have to touch the ground and say always was, always will be Aboriginal land at the start of assembly at school now, she told news.com.au. A lot of the parents look confused when they place their hands on the floor for the acknowledgement of country. Another parent confirmed the act of touching the ground had been happening for some time as a standard practice. The mum said that an altered national anthem that included the didgeridoo and stick instruments was also used at the school, replacing the traditional version. Versions of the national anthem with Aboriginal instruments are listed on the Prime Minister and Cabinet website under official recordings of the Australian anthem and have been used in schools for several years. The NSW Department of Education website says all staff are encouraged to incorporate a welcome to country and or an acknowledgement of country at every meeting event or other gathering. One of our aims is to promote greater understanding of and respect for Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander people and cultures in our workplaces, our schools, and in the wider community, the website reads. By observing these protocols and participating in this cultural practice, we are also promoting understanding of and respect for Aboriginal cultural practice. Dr. Bella D. Abrera, Director of the Foundations of Western Civilization Program at the Institute of Public Affairs, described the school's practices as an appalling example of activism. While such activities are not mandated in schools, many teachers feel compelled to perform them given that the national curriculum prioritizes indigenous issues in the classroom, and activists in the education sector push this agenda, she said. There is no place for activism in any classroom in Australia. It comes after civil servants were reportedly asked to remove their shoes and wiggle their toes during a welcome to country last month. Employees at Queensland's Department of Justice and Attorney General Office in Brisbane recently attended an awards ceremony, which began with a welcome to country. They were asked to remove their shoes, wiggle their toes, and close their eyes in order to feel more in tune with the earth, reported the Courier Mail. A Department of Justice and Attorney General spokesman only confirmed that a welcome to country was conducted at the event. A welcome to country or acknowledgement of country is conducted at appropriate government organized events including awards ceremonies and conferences, he said. They can take many forms and often differ, according to the nature of the event and the presenter. For example, a welcome to country can encompass singing, dancing, or smoking ceremonies. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.